literally just hit me right now that I'm sitting down filming that I'm gonna go back to school like in three weeks and I'm really upset I don't know if you guys are on vacation still or are going back like super soon but good luck hello everybody it's Becky and welcome back to my channel today I have a new video for you guys and I'm actually doing a haul but it's a school supply haul I did purchase a few school supplies for um, this fall semester and I'm kind of really really sad that I'm going back to school but it's you know it's reality for everybody I guess um, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I got I usually go to Target and TJ Maxx literally to get my supplies that's where I go to get them so that's where I got these ones I'm pretty sure you can still get them because I just picked them up um, and if I find something I'll link it down below as well so we're gonna get started with the haul um, and just a reminder if you guys are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe before leaving this video and let's get to the haul. So let's get started with the more basic stuff. I bought two no notebooks this semester. I'm only taking, I'm taking two classes, but my book for my class is also has a manual in it. So I won't be needing like a notebook for it, hopefully. <laughs> so I picked up only these two, but this one is so cute. It's this little like, um, it says kale them with kindness and it's like a little kale it's so cute i got it from target um and then i just picked up this one because it just gave me some like nautica vibes kind of situation um these are not like my favorite colors but for whatever reason i was just like this is really cute i'm gonna get it so and then last year if you guys didn't see my last year's back to school haul i have a link down below but last year i picked up a set of these pens these are the i don't know how to say the name Sten stendler stendler that doesn't sound right. Uh, pens, but I got the one that was only like being 10. And now I picked up another. I actually bought one a few months ago and I lost it. <sighs> I know it's crazy. So I picked up another one. This is 24, 20, sorry, 20 colors and they're so beautiful. And they're basically just for my note taking so that I can use all the shades in the rainbow. I think that I believe there's another a newer set, but I didn't find it when I went to the stores. So I'm gonna pick up this one. I highly recommend these ones. They're the ones with a really fine tip and they just write beautiful and they last a long time. They're not pens that you're gonna run out soon, you know, they're just gonna last you a good amount of note taking. So I really, really like these. They're my favorite pens. Go well, at Target, I pick up some highlighters. I always need highlighters. This time I only got three shades because last year, I think I bought like different shades and I ended up losing them. I ended up only having one highlighter. So this time I decided decided to kind of just pick up three shades. Um, and I like these ones because the tip, I don't know if you guys can see, it's not as small or as big. I really hate the chunky highlighters and I really hate the really thin highlighters. It has to be like a medium size. I don't know, it might make any sense, but I really like these, this size specifically. It has like a clear tip or something. I don't know. It looks cool, but I didn't. I didn't pick it because of the clear view. I picked it just because of the size of the highlighter itself. So I'm hoping that this work out good for me. Another thing that I picked up from Target. It, this was just honestly an impulse buy. But I can always use these for my planner. But these are the minute sticky notes. But it's a pizza and a taco. And it was a dollar. So I thought it was so cute. <laughs> and I thought it was so cute. So I'm going to use them for my planner and stuff. Or just to write down whatever I need to write down sticky notes so I thought they were super cute so I picked up these ones and then I pick up more um, lead pencils um, well the mechanical lead pencils I don't like the wood ones I used to use those all the time and I have a bad habit of like, biting into them so I cannot have the wood ones I have to have these because they're plastic if that makes any sense but I also like these specifically because it has a wider like like the eraser area is a little bit has more space which is perfect for the erasers which I also picked up because some of them have like a chubbier eraser end or it's attached to this little like clip thing on the pencil and it doesn't let me add erasers to it which is really frustrating I need a lot of I, I need a lot of this is not enough eraser for me I need a lot of it so I always whenever I do tests or anything like that I have to have like this on my pencil and then also like an extra eraser I'm just really really crazy about that but I have to have them together because it's, it's just gonna drive me insane so I picked up some erasers because I think I lost the other I, I think I had some left but I cannot find them so I just end up picking up more they were like 80 cents or something and then I picked up some pencils as well and then also from Target randomly I picked up this um, ruler because it was so cute last year I actually um, used 
well in my notes I was using a lot of like like I don't know how to describe it but I was like dip, like separating things and doing all that stuff and then I didn't I realized I don't have a ruler weird so I ended up picking this one from Target it was a dollar but it has a little ice cream in here I guess this year's theme is food because everything has food in it but yeah it has a little ice cream cone on the top and I thought it was really cute so I picked up this one this obviously is not going to go with me to school but I'll keep it in my um, desk area then of course I picked up more pens because I love pens but these are just bl plain black pens it was just the ones that I saw these are the roller gel pens they're about medium tip because I like them kind of thin I love the tip to be thin I don't like the roller balls like I, I just can't do that so I like these ones specifically. These were the cheapest one that I found at Target. I'm pretty sure Walmart might have them cheaper, but I didn't go to Walmart, so we'll see. They have as a two pack. I'm hoping they're gonna work well. So excited! I'm excited to try these pens. I really am. And then TJ Maxx. I usually go pick up my planners or extra notebooks. I end up picking one. End up picking up one more notebook, but this is just like my general notebook. I always carry a notebook to work, school, everywhere, just so that I can do like. I need to make a list of all groceries. It's so weird. I just don't use my phone for that. I know I could, but I don't. I love writing things down. I also love, it's almost like a journal, but like an all-in-one notebook. And I always carry one. I need more, honestly. This is the only one that I bought, but the one, the, the cutest one that I found at TJ Maxx. They usually have really cute ones, but I only found this one. So like right now, I have like my vacation stuff because I, I already wrote on it, but... Yeah, I picked this up. This was like three dollars, I think, at TJ Maxx. It was it's really cute. And then the last thing, can you believe the last thing I bought was this um, planner. Now I I know Target has really cute planners, but I find TJ Maxx planners to be cuter. <laughs> I really like the ones in TJ Maxx, so I ended up buying this one, and it's in this beige kind of fabricy material, and then it just has gold in the bottom, and I really like it. I already started planning. I started writing notes. Um, yesterday on it and it's like really full cool already but it has in the front which this is what I really liked in the front it has my overall month and I love my planners to have the big I don't know if you guys can see because of my lighting but it's gonna have like the whole just the regular month like with the big squares and then when you go to the back it'll have weekly and then it also has room for you to write notes or lists that you need to buy or anything like that which is nice because I always need extra paper to just write whatever I need to do that week or whatever I need to buy or whatever I need to clean whatever I need to pay all that stuff just in the back of it which I really really like and then it has more area for notes and it has like phone numbers and stuff all the way at the end which is handy to have um, and it's just for 2018 I believe is it only 2018 yeah it only goes up to December Oh, that's lame. I didn't even realize that it only goes up to December. Yeah, it only goes up to December and it starts in June. It started in July, I think. Yeah, this one started in July. It ended in um, December, which I guess is not a full planner, but it's okay. I'll end up buying a new one in January, so. Anyways, moving on. And that was basically it for my school supplies. This year I didn't go too crazy because... I just realized that I don't need a lot of school supplies. I'm also missing a backpack. I haven't been able to find one that I like. If you guys recommend any backpacks, let me know. Because last year I bought one and I loved it. It was my Vans backpack. And it is disgusting and it ripped. And now I cannot use it anymore. So I need a new one. So if you guys recommend any backpacks. I went to Vans and the ones they had I didn't really like. So I need to pick another one. So let me know where you guys are getting your backpack. Because I need to get a new one. And I'm not sure why. I went to Forever 21 too, but the backpacks there are too flimsy. And I carry too much stuff. Like, I carry, like, my life in there. So, I really need one that's, like, strong for me. If that makes any sense. So, anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.